try to discover a new planet. What are the chances this works? Slim to none. <laughs> That's a professional astronomer. What he doesn't know is that I've spent hundreds of hours watching videos on space to make sure I find one. If there's one place on Earth where we're gonna find a planet, it's here. And I rented out this facility for 24 hours. We're also gonna find a black hole and some place where we can supposedly find aliens, which the government just confirmed are apparently real. Starting with Saturn. Jupiter. Is that a planet? Nope, that's the Andromeda Galaxy. An entire galaxy. We took this picture of it. Seriously, I know. That's literally what this guy looked like. There's so many things to see. There's gotta be a new planet in there somewhere. If we could find a planet that may have life on it, that would be insane. Do you have any ideas? I got something for you. We're gonna have Eris, one of the largest dwarf planets in the solar system. Over by Jupiter. So it's it's rising right about now. Eris. Eris is a planet we don't know much about, and it's three times further away from us than Pluto. Yeah. It'll be tough to find. Okay. Yeah. If we found it, it would be one of the first times this planet has ever been viewed from Earth. It's extremely hard to find. What would it look like? When this thing uh, gets up here, it's gonna get much better in about an hour. Okay, so we'll look then. In one hour, we should be able to see the planet come up right over those trees. Meanwhile, we're gonna set up a time lapse with the time lapse camera to see if any planets appear out of the ordinary. We'll take a look at this later. This whole thing would be a lot easier if there wasn't black holes. We just kept running into them. They're everywhere. Most people don't really understand them, but you will in the next 30 seconds. Black holes are essentially like if you tried taking a giant pile of stuff and squishing it down to a tiny one foot box. Oh my gosh. Are we getting closer? And then you took that box and squished it down even further to be the size of just my finger. And if you could somehow do that, you squished it down even more to be this small. This tiny grain of salt would be so heavy and so strong despite its tiny size. Alright, we're getting closer. If you tried putting this on a piece of paper, it would immediately rip a hole right through, creating a tiny black hole. And that's essentially how black holes work. They're the heaviest things in the universe. So what we're gonna need to do is aim it up there at Aries. See, the magnitude is so small. Oh yeah. It's just barely there. Some things are just so heavy compared to their size that they literally rip a hole in space. And how many people do you think have seen Aries? Oh, not many. I've never seen Aries. <laughs> black holes weren't supposed to ever exist. Now we know they do. You're also not supposed to be able to find Eris with an average telescope from Earth. But we have a plan. The way we do it was using this app, which had a map on it of all the stars in the universe and their location. Based on finding the planet in the app, we could tell which stars surround it. And then find those stars in the real sky to figure out where the planet should be. And when the sky looks like this, it's not easy. It takes a long time to find the right one. But once we do, we should be able to match the diagram on the app of where the planet should be with what we see in real life through our telescope. We only have seven more hours to find a planet before the sun comes up. But we should be able to see it now, so we can't keep getting distracted. If we just had a wormhole, this entire thing would be much easier. Because wormholes are portals, and we can use them. Listen to this. See, this is a one pound ball, and this is a negative one pound ball. It may not look very different, but this ball has negative weight. If something had enough negative weight, it would literally repel everything around it, eventually creating a hole in space. Wormhole. We may be able to use these special portal holes to find other planets in a different part of space and time in the universe. Can we use wormholes? Tim didn't even look up from his phone. I didn't get this on camera, but the astronomers explained to me that wormholes haven't actually been seen yet. We just think they're out there. But hey, that's how we were with black holes until just a few years ago, so it's only a matter of time. These telescopes are like $100,000 each, so I cannot break them, but we need to keep using them to find a planet. We're getting closer, do you think? Yeah. <laughs> it might take a little while. It's all good. Well, we <laughs> I actually have something I have to do right now. I have to tell you guys a little bit about BetterHelp, the sponsor of this video. Wait. Marilyn and from some deep sky. Look at this view where there's two in the same field of view. So there's the pattern of stars. And then I'll look in the eyepiece and tell me if that's the pattern. <laughs> BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and accessible, which is really important because it can be really hard to find a therapist, especially in your area. It's just, it's just tough. It's just not really, you know, it's 
seen it. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online. And by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. Uh, we're getting closer. We're trying to find a better uh, star map. Not gonna lie, I could have really used BetterHelp during the COVID lockdown indoor days, but at least on days like today, I'm reminded about the beautiful world around us when we're sitting outside in nature. The magnitude of Eris is 19 which is dimmer than the galaxies that we look at. If you don't fit with your therapist, which is totally common, you can switch for no additional cost, without having to worry about insurance or who's in your network or anything like that. It's easy to get signed up. There's a link in my description at betterhelp.com slash Jack Gordon. And by clicking the link, you get 10% off your first month, so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. So what are, what are we thinking? Uh, so thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. usually need about a 25 to 30 inch telescope to resolve something that dim, and so, with our telescopes, uh, I think it's just out of reach for what we're trying to do tonight. I, I refuse to accept that. <laughs> <laughs> the astronomers gave up, but I didn't. We can keep looking at that field of view where we're pretty sure it's at, but let's shoot for some of our uh, little, little more known planets. No, um, no, 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 no not to. known planets. <laughs> what if we just stuck our camera in there and used long exposure? Uh, that would be one way to do it. There's something called long exposure. A little better chance of pulling out Eris in that image. Can we try that? We can try that. See, when your camera snaps an image, it lets all the light in really quickly. But if you just leave the sensor open and let it keep taking the image for longer, it will let more light in, allowing you to see super dim things that even our eyes can't see. It's what our iPhones do on night mode. Okay, let's try it. Let's see if it's possible. We are running out of time. The sun was starting to rise. Is it in the right field of view right now? Yes. We hope it is. There's those two bright stars. If that's the case, then we're a little, just a hair off. Okay. Okay. We work with that. Okay, this is it. The sun's gonna come up soon. I think Eris is in this frame. That is that. So it's in the image. Could it be like that? It might be just out of view. How do we look? Are we lined up? You have the photo you need here. You need to go up from there. Come on. I think it's that one. Right there. High five, man. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes. The most distant solar system object we've ever looked at. That tiny dot is a planet that's extremely cold and icy, around negative 226 degrees Celsius, and its surface looks like this. How many people in the world have ever seen Eris? Not many. <laughs> like nice. Five. Its days are a familiar 26 hours long, but its years are 557 times longer than Earth. The planet would take about 25 years to get to, if we ever wanted to, which we probably won't. Until then, the planet will just keep sitting there, alone with nothing going on there. Hello, my name is Sebit, and I believe the Earth is flat.